So basically, to get a Hamming code, let's, let's write a 7 4 Hamming code. To get a Hamming code, we start with H transpose. And in particular, uh, we know that what we want is we want G in the form IKP. So we need H in the form, or H transpose, in the form PIK. Um, what that means is the uh, i n minus k, excuse me. In this case, n minus k is 3. So we fill the bottom three rows here with the uh, identity matrix of order 3. So that's three of the seven rows taken care of. The remaining rows doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter in what order I put them, but there are only four other possible unique non-zero rows. And they're basically the rows with um, two ones and three ones. From this, G, now notice this is already H transpose, so that's P, I, N minus K. So this here is P. So G contains the identity matrix of order 4. receive this, where the sixth bit has been flipped. So we form the syndrome. One, zero, one, zero, zero. 
zero, zero, zero. That's two ones, which is zero. There's my syndrome. That is equal to the sixth row. So therefore, it's the sixth bit that was an error. So we flip that to zero. And my corrected code word is one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, which is exactly what I sent. And finally, what is the message? One, zero, one, zero. Yeah, first just, I just extract that. So in fact, here, the error was in the parity bits, not the message bits. Okay, any questions on that? So, um, probably this was review for at least some of you having codes are covered in senior level data communications classes, but if not, I hope that was a fairly reasonable reintroduction to them. Okay, we will see you on Thursday when we will talk about convolutional codes.